back to my channel, Sew Notes, and this is another episode of Sip and Stitch. And today we have the, our Malbec Merlot uh, from the Black Cellar. So here we go. On this episode, I am working on the Kelly Anorak. So right here, this was the very first Kelly Anorak that I worked on. Um, as you can see that it, it's not finished. And uh, I can't remember why I stopped working on this. I bought this fabric in 2018, and then I started working on this in 2020. And I got this far. I could even put it on for you. So this is what I have so far. I think it fits great. I don't know why I stopped working on it, but I've stopped working on it and I'm working on another one. And right now we're at the burrito method. So we're gonna be sewing the burrito method on this episode of Sip and Stitch. And I'm working with this ripstop fabric from Minerva. So this was gifted to me in exchange of a blog post and it is water repellent on this side and then it has a fleecy inside so i am not lining this one however i didn't have plans on lining this one but now that i'm working on this purple one i'm thinking once i'm done the purple one i'm going to come back and finish this one and i think i'm going to line this one i don't have the lining because Closet core pattern sells the lining separate. They sell the jacket and then you could buy the lining separate, which I'm not really a fan of. I wish they would have just combined it and let you pay one price for the full pattern because most jackets, jacket patterns come lined. So I'm not too happy about that, but we'll see how it goes once the purple one's done and if I feel like lining this one. But this is a size 10 and I think it's fitting great. So come on, let's go, let's get stitching and uh, let's get sipping and stitching. So right now I have it pinned in place for the burrito method. And so once you've pulled it through, you will see that the inside is nice and tucked away in there. So that's where I'm going to stop for today for Sip and Stitch and uh, I'm basically at the same part that I am on my grey one. I just have to put the buttons in for the pockets but other than that I'm going to pause right here and um, the next step would be to work on the casing. So now the tricky part about this fabric is that you cannot put pins in it and so for the pockets, the pockets took the longest so far. Even both versions, the pockets took the longest, but um, it was extremely 
more challenging with this one because I could not use pins. Um, as you could see in the clip before, I'm using the clips. Um, so what I did was I read a couple blog posts and YouTube videos about making this jacket with this fabric. And what I did was I just chalked out where the pocket would go and I just placed the, the pocket and the um, pattern piece together, put my needle down and then I would just guide the pocket onto that chalk line. And I think it turned out good so far. Pockets are nice and big. And so that's where we're gonna stop for today and uh, hopefully next Sip and Stitch we have more progress done on our jacket. I desperately need to get this done as the jacket that I'm currently wearing, my zipper broke. And so I need a jacket because right now I'm wearing a jacket that has a zipper wide open. Um, so yeah, hopefully get this done within a week and uh, be able to share it with you. So thank you so much for joining me and I will see you all next time.